without Jesus Christ. There is no peace without Jesus Christ. You can have peace with God. You can have peace with God, have peace with God today. You can have peace with God today. If you have hatred in your heart, Jesus said that's the same as murder in God's eyes. I wish they could, but the last night it's even feels, right? Us. You know, there's no end to war until, until we, man, we, man, we love. We're not going to get into it. I'm not going to turn to him today to have a new heart, a change of heart. I'm all for innocent life. But what? God doesn't yes, he does. If people turn, he gives free will to people. He gives free will to people. So if people turn the free will against God and righteousness, then God will allow them to face the consequences. Jesus Christ. It's it's when you give your life to Jesus, He can actually fix these political issues. Jesus Christ. There is no peace without Jesus Christ. You can have peace with God. You can have peace with God today. You can have peace with God today. If you have hatred in your heart, Jesus said that's the same as murder in God's eyes. I wish they could, but the last night it's even feels, right? You know, there's no end to war until, until we, man, we, man, we love. We're not going to get into it. So, Jesus is not going to turn to him today to have a new heart, a change of heart. Give your life to Jesus. God can free you from the occupation of Satan. God wants to free you from the occupation of your sin. Everyone is occupied with sin. You can all be free from sin. Jesus wants to set you free from your own sin. Palestine, Israel need to be set free from sin, just like you. Everyone has sinned against God. You're all going to face God on, on Judgment Day. 
You need to repent. Huh? It's a perfect time. You guys are all close to World War III soon, and many of you will get drafted into a war in the Middle East. You think you're not ready? Well, you better get ready, because Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is the only answer. Not really. We're more like Jesus uh, uh, preachers. We were already preaching here. We just didn't. Know, we didn't know the protest was uh, I, I just kind of find it funny that one of them was carrying a uh, queers for <laughs> queers. Palestine. and Palestinians kill With gays. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Arabs. Like, Arabs they, they don't, don't like gays. They don't, gays. They don't, they don't really. They're like they're so, you know, college students. You know, whatever. Yeah. Whatever's yeah. Fun, whatever. Right? Yeah. Whatever's trendy. Whatever's trendy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, oh, they're like around. Wisely, he shall be high and lifted up and shall be exalted as many were astonished at you. His appearance was so marred beyond human semblance. This was written 700 years before Jesus was born. And his form beyond that of the children of mankind, so shall he sprinkle many nations. Kings shall shut their mouths because of him. For that which has not been told him they see, and that which they have seen and heard they not understand. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was pierced for from sin free the world from sin Jesus Christ is the only solution to war Jesus Christ is the only Savior that Palestine and Israel and the whole world needs Jesus Christ wants to free you from your sins turn to Jesus politics will not solve it Jesus Christ will turn to Jesus God wants to free you from your sins. Turn to Jesus. I thought you had something higher. I, I, I'm all for innocent life. But what? Yes, he does. If people turn, he gives free will to people. He gives free will to people. So if people turn their free will against God and righteousness, then God will allow them to face the consequences. Jesus Christ. It's, it's when you give your life to Jesus, He can actually fix these political issues.
Jesus Christ is calling ceasefire from sin. While you have breath in your lungs, while you have breath in your lungs, you can be saved from your sin. While you have breath in your lungs, you can be set free from your sin through Jesus Christ. Jesus is calling every single person, no matter what side of the war you're on. Jesus is calling every single person to repent of your sin to be born again. It's easy to point the finger at someone else, but God's calling you today to examine your heart and see the ways that you've sinned against God. God is calling you to examine your heart and see the ways that you've sinned against God. Jesus really did rise from the dead. He's calling you to himself. He rose from the dead, and he's going to come again, and he's going to judge all wickedness on this earth, and you want to be found forgiven and not wicked. Amen.